you know if you look at uh, the description of uh, the ark of the covenant in the tabernacle and the temple of God in the Old Testament you would see that there were two cherubs on either side of the ark of the covenant and they would spread the, their wings over the mercy seat so it looks like they are covering the presence or the glory of God and it looks like probably that's what uh, Lucifer did. He was the anointed cherub that covereth, that covered. What did he cover? Probably he stood behind the throne of God or on the side of the throne of God, right? Uh, whose representative on the earth is the mercy seat on the Ark of the Covenant where you have the cherubim covering that seat. So maybe that's what the devil was engaged or rather Lucifer was engaged uh, in the third heaven before his fall into sin. Not only was he the anointed cherub but look at verse 13 Ezekiel chapter 28 and verse 13. Thou hast been in Eden the garden of God every precious stone was thy covering the sardius, topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, and gold. The workmanship of thy tabrets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou wast created. Look at that. It says, the tabrets and pipes. The tabrets and pipes. The anointed cherub had musical instruments built into his body he had musical instruments built into his body so he was a musician and probably he was the choir leader because you see he was not an ordinary cherub he was I mean uh, he was not an ordinary angel he was a cherub look at uh, Job Job chapter 38 and verse 7 Job chapter 38 and verse 7. It says, when God created the earth, this is what happened in verse 7. The, when the morning stars, okay, verse 6, let's begin at verse 6. Whereupon are the foundation thereof fastened, or who laid the cornerstone thereof? He's talking about the making of the earth. When the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy. There was singing, right? There was singing when God laid the foundation of the earth. There is singing in heaven. And Lucifer had musical instruments built into his body. Look at that, tabrets and pipes. <coughs> you know what that tells you? That music is not neutral, right? Everybody says, even Christians, I'm talking about Christians, they have this view that music is neutral. That there is no good or bad music. Music is just music, they say. How can it be? When the first musician that God ever created rebelled against God and became the arch enemy of God, right? And he would use music in his rebellion against God. He certainly would. The arch enemy of God would not simply let go of this great gift that God had given him. He would make use of it against God. So, music is not neutral since the fall of man into sin. Music, right, is either good or bad. And bad music is devilish music. Good music, again, is music that honors God, that honors the Lord Jesus Christ, that honors the Bible. Yes, there is such music. There is such music. Now again, that's another subject in itself to study uh, because the Bible does have a lot to talk about music. But you see, the devil, the anointed cherub that covered it was a musician. He had music instruments built into his body. Uh, how is that possible? I don't know. I don't know. How can, uh, you know, a cherub which has a real body have instruments as a part of that body? But that's how God made this wonderful being. That's how God made him. So, uh, you have to be very careful about music. Satan is connected with the corruption of music. 
right? He corrupts everything. Whether it's uh, instruments, you have to be careful about which instruments you choose to use, uh, you know, even if it is in the singing of praises to God. Because the devil can corrupt musical instruments, the melody, the harmony, everything can be corrupted uh, by the devil. So a lot of Christians say it's only the lyrics that matter. No, it's not the lyrics, it's the music. There is good music, there is evil music. And that's uh, very simple for a born-again Christian to understand when he sees that the devil himself was the first musician and choir leader in the third heaven before his fall.